Hello everyone. Today is the day I talk to you about how to make fiberglass putty, how to patch holes in the hull of the boat, how I make my fiberglass resin to finish the whole patching process. So everyone, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so I've got quarter inch chop strand fibers here in this bucket. Um, I have a little um, scoop of cabasil. Um, and if you shake this, being fume silica, it will go everywhere. Uh, it is a very fine particulate, and that stuff will stay airborne for some time. So definitely have your respirator on before you start mixing. I'm about to pour up some resin. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do probably eight ounces. Um, I'm gonna make a a smaller batch because I don't really need that much. And eight's a good number. Um, a little bit. It's better to have too much, um, but you know, sixteen would be would be way too much. Uh, so I'm gonna go with eight ounces this time. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so what I've got here is my clear measuring bottle. Basically, all my hardener is in this bottle, and this lets you measure in this cup on the top side of it here by squeezing the bottle, and you uh, you get the amount of uh, hardener you're actually needing for your mixture. Um, as I said, I'm doing uh, eight ounces of resin, and you need one eighth ounce hardener for 16 ounces. So cut that in half for this mixture here. Um, pour that in first. And then you're supposed to stir and count to 100. That's kind of the method. Make sure you got the hardener good mixed in before you add um, the chop strand, which I'm about to do here now. Um, so once I got the kind of amount that I wanted in here. Um, again, this is not an exact science. There's not one complete mixture that I have come across. This is just how I decided to do it. And this is what worked best for me. You can make this stuff as thick as you want if that's what you, you know, it's, it's what you want. Uh, remember that. Um, and for me, I had in mind what I was mixing for. You'll see here shortly, I was mixing to patch some holes in the hull of my boat. Um, so that's that's what all this is about. So anyway, there I am right now mixing in the chop strand fibers. Again, these are quarter inch chop strand fibers. So anyway, once you get the fiber and consistency you're wanting, then it's time to add the cabasil. The cabasil is going to really thicken that up and give it that that texture, that smoothness um, by thickening it up and let you make it into what I would call the actual putty. Um, at this point, uh, once you're done mixing that in, again, using your own judgment, it's how thick do you want it to be, uh, how thin do you want it to be. Um, Although, as I say that, I don't think anybody really wants it to be too thin or you can't really do what you need to with it. So you do need it to be thick. It's not just, uh, it's not that loose to where, you know, you don't have to have it too thick. You really do need some thickness here. And as you can see here, uh, pretty, pretty thick. Um, pretty much what I'm going for. So that's a good mix. And again, this was only eight ounces and um, You'd be surprised how far eight ounces will go, um, depending on what part of the, the boat you're working on and what you're trying to do. Um, but for me, for patching holes, um, that's a perfect amount. Okay, so before I show you actually the application process of this fiberglass putty that I just mixed up, um, I need to do just a little bit of a flashback to show you me prepping the hull. Um, so what I did first was I wiped down the hull with acetone on the inside and on the bottom side of the hull. Um, reason being both sides is because I was going to put masking tape on the outside of the hull. So here's me doing that. And um, you need to make sure you put probably 
Um, I'd say somewhere between four to six layers um, to be safe. The reason for that is um, when this fiberglass gets hot and starts curing, if your masking tape is too thin, it could kind of buckle and bend from the heat and your, um, your fiberglass will be kind of rough and wavy possibly. Um, but if you do a nice tight uh, layer masking tape four to six times, that gives a lot of strength and it'll keep it from doing that. So anyway, be sure you, uh, you do this step if you're having a patch of hole. Um, it can save you some aggravations and make sure the fiberglass cures evenly and blends right in with the original fiberglass. So this is me applying both sides. You can see one side is, is worse than the other. Uh, the, the second hole that I'm taping up here wasn't too terribly bad, but it still had to be patched. Um, all right, so anyway, I did all this before I mixed up my putty because this took some time. And once you get your putty mixed up, you want to be able to go right into it. So make sure you do the prep process before you mix up your putty.
right, so what I'm about to do is mix up some resin, just standard resin uh, at this point. Um, I've got a couple little spots to kind of make a little bit of CSM patches um, on the transom. And I'm gonna do my 1708 patches um, over the big patches of 1708 on the little holes that I plugged. Um, and that's it. After these all cure, I will be able to actually glue in the transom. So, like I say, just three, probably about six patches, I think. Um, three in the bolt on the hull, um, two or three on the transom, at least five, maybe six. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm about to lay it all out, and then I'm gonna come over here and mix some of this up.
All right, so now just a quick recap of what we've talked about in this video today. Um, I started by mixing fiberglass putty, which is quarter inch chop strand fibers, um, cabosil, polyester resin, and then the hardener. And put your hardener in first, mix it up for 100 seconds, count in your head. Um, then you add your chop strand fibers to kind of start getting the consistency you're wanting. Then you put in your cabosil. The cabosil is going to completely make that stuff nice and smooth and thicken it up the rest of the way because it's the thickening agent out of the two. The fibers are for the strength of where you're putting this putty at. Um, and the cabosil is for the thickening agent, so to speak. All right, so then um, I prepped the surface. I applied my layers of masking tape underneath the bottom because I had holes there and I needed to have a rigid support there so that putty would be nice and flush once I took the tape off later. Um, did one patch of chop strand mat, which is actually the 1708. So it has the stitch mat on top and the chop strand mat on the bottom. So I did a layer there about two inches or three inches by three inches. You kind of use your own judgment. And then once I had the first layers on all three spots, I went and mixed up my batch of resin. And resin is just hardener and resin. Um, again, you don't have to do cab seal or chop strand fibers if you're just trying to put that nice coat on there. If you're just trying to put the resin agent hardener on top, um, you don't have to do the, uh, the putty again. So that's what I did, because this time step two was the bigger patches, which were about six inch patches, um, to cover the first patch, again, to give it strength. Um, and then once I was done with that, um, that's pretty much it. The next question is, where am I going from here? Um, again, I have been working ahead. I'm just trying to get my backlog of video edited to show you my steps and processes. Um, I've actually got the next video that's going to come out will be me installing the transom, um, uh, how I glue it in and how I've put my holes from a motor mount and stuff like that through. Um, this way I could bolt it to in the gluing process and all, and all the stuff involved with that. You'll see all that in the next video. This one, I just wanted to show a putty, a resin, and how to patch um, the holes in the boat itself um, because I could not get to the transom before patching these holes because these little holes were underneath where the transom rest in the back of the boat. So that's what this video is about. Again, I hope it helps somebody out there. Um, don't be scared of fiberglass mixing. Um, I read a whole lot, watched a whole lot. Um, you know, just saw pictures, listened to people's ideas on forums about doing this fiberglass uh, mixing and um, just the, the, all the jobs and steps involved. And um, let me tell you, for me, reading and watching and learning all had to come to an end and just start doing. And once I started doing, it just kind of like opened up and now I get it. Um, there's only so far you can go before actually getting your hands dirty. And getting your hands dirty is where you're gonna learn the most. So watch this video again and again and again, however much you need to, if it helps. Um, don't be scared, get out there and get dirty. And uh, I'll see you next time on the next entry.